leave with you. My yes. peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Amen. 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 Peace I leave with you. Hallelujah. My peace, what? I give to you. Man, that's it right there. Even as the world, what? Don't give it to you. Right? Let your heart, what? Not be, what? Trouble. Worry. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. Trust the Lord. Amen. And neither, don't, and not, don't let fear come into you. Amen? Amen. Because that's how the devil works. Amen. If he got you, that's how he's going to get you. Bill, you can't pay your bill or something. Don't fear. God always find a way. Amen? Amen. Don't, he, don't he? I mean, I could testify to that. Amen. A lot of time I'm giving my, lot, my last to somebody else. Uh -huh. Because they need a little more. You know? Amen. And I don't do it because I want to say that I'm not. No, I just do it because I'm following the word of God. Amen. And sure enough, down the road, somebody come down and bless me ten times, maybe seven times, four. Amen. Amen. It's happened to me so many times. My family can say, they know. Hallelujah. And that's what? Because why? Not anything I'm doing, but by God. Amen. Amen. I'm just following his word and believing. And not doubting, but having faith, right? Amen. And a heart after God. And not anything. Like we said, we men, we don't fear any man. We don't fear nothing. Amen? Amen? That's how we should be with our relationship with God and His Word. That is truth. It never changes. Amen? Amen? As we focus our eyes on who? On Jesus and the promises of what? His Word. Amen? Amen. And instead of worrying, being, we begin to what? To thank Him for what He has done and, hold on, whatever, oh yeah, for what he has done and who he is. And our hearts will be what? Flooded, hallelujah, I love that. Flooded with what? With what? With peace, amen? Amen. And our praise will what? Begin to flow from our hearts towards who? Towards God. Amen. Because we're focusing on, I'm going to praise you, Lord, no matter what I'm doing. I ain't got my car built this, this month, but that's all right. I'm going to praise you anyway. Amen. You know? Maybe I'm short on food, but I'm going to praise you anyway. Amen. Amen. He's always giving us what we need. Amen? Amen? On time. He's never out of time. He's always on time. Amen. Maybe not on our time, but he's always on time. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to Philippians chapter 1. Four. Four verse what? Six, Six and seven. seven. Sister Latrell, speak. Be careful for nothing, but in everything you by prayer. Yes. And supplication with thanksgiving. Let request, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, Hallelujah. shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. I don't even have to say nothing on that. Anybody ain't mad at that. That came up clear. Amen. What? The peace. Hallelujah. That only comes from Him. Peace of God, which what surpasses all understanding and will what? And then and, and it will guard your heart and your mind through who? Christ. Through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. To allow ourselves to become with. A spirit of dependency because of what our circumstances is to stop up is to stop the flow of praise in our lives. Amen? Amen. In our lives. Amen. Let's go to first Peter chapter what? Four, Four. Four verses what? Twelve and thirteen. Hallelujah. Wait. <laughs> Beloved, think about strange concerning the fury trial which is which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of christ yes sufferings that when his glory shall be revealed you may be glad also with exceeding joy amen, amen. amen. the sufferings of christ so that what you may be overjoyed with his glory hallelujah in the in the niv i love the niv 
As a sacrifice of praise, we must begin to what? Rejoice. An act of what? Obedience to who? To God. We must put our garment of what? Of praise. Amen? Put our garment of praise. Amen? That's why we come to church. I always say, God didn't create church basically for Him. He created church for us. Because how do, they, how do we see God? Through each other. Amen. Through the love we have and what we do for each other. That's how we see Jesus. Amen. Those are the walking miracles. Those are the signs and wonders. Amen. And that's why he put us in. Because I always say, he put everybody in because we need each other. Amen. We can't make it without each other. Amen. See, God knew that. He knew when he did Adam, he gave me. He knew. And that's what he does today. He cares for us. Amen. And then to bless us to have children. Hallelujah. Like when he told Adam, I'm not using that, don't get this wrong, I'm not using the kids as animals, but I'm just saying that when he told Adam, he says, I trust you so much, you can name every animal. Amen? Amen. God trusts us so much that he allows us to have children and to what? We're to what? Like today we're dedicating our children. You're doing what? The letter of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because what? You're dedicating my child and my house to what? Serve the Lord. Amen? Amen? So what are you declaring? You're following the letter of the law. Amen? Amen. See, I don't just want to preach. I want this word to come into you. That you understand it. So when that time arises, when then you're not in church, or you're not around church people, amen, or your brothers and sisters, and you come to that, to that place where someone pushed that button, then you will have what? Power and understanding and knowledge what? To walk away. Amen? Amen? And to keep walking on the path that God has for you and not let the devil deter you to where he wants you. Amen? Amen. That's why I want everybody to participate in the word. Hallelujah. Because the word set me free. Amen? And that's the good news. Amen? Let's go to Isaiah what? 61 verse 3. Isaiah 61 verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Yes. To give unto them brooding for actions. Yes. The oil of joy for mourning. The Hallelujah. The garment of praises for the spirit of yes. heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. Oh. The planting of the Lord. Yes. That he might be glorified. That he might be glorified. <laughs> but what? What was that other part? What? That we were what? Righteousness and planting of, uh, what it was, of uh, trees. Yeah, trees of righteousness. Of trees of righteousness. That's what we need to be. So that means, you know what? What that means literally is that what? A tree, what does it do? When it grows to be a tree, it's rooted. Amen? It grows roots. It's in the ground, right? It was a seed. It started, right? And as it grows, it becomes a tree. Strong. And then what? Bear fruits. Right? And what it is grounded and strong. And that's how our spiritual life should be. Like a tree. Grounded in who? In his word. Amen? In his word. And what happens, we develop roots. You see, when those roots come, the fruits in our lives start manifesting. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And you're listening to my video. Hallelujah. Same thing. Hallelujah. Many have... Uh, okay. Many have what? Neglected feelings about God. Negative feelings, I'm sorry, about God. And they feel God is always judging them. I know, you know, I thought that too. The word saying God is judging us. Others feel God does not want us to, to, to want a person to enjoy himself or herself. Amen? Amen. That he doesn't want us to enjoy ourselves on himself. Amen? I'll read that again. Many have negative feelings about God. They feel that God is always judging them. And others feel God does not want a person to enjoy himself or herself. Amen. That's not true. What did I say God is? Love. Why, why am I always talking about love? Because that's what it's all about. What the, what the world makes go round. Is love. I forgot that song. I'm trying to do it. <laughs> what is it? No. What the world needs now is what? Love. Love. Let's go back. Let's go back. 
go back a little while. Remember when you first dated and that song just come up? You remember that time? You were like, oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> you, you want to think about that one? Love, sweet love. <laughs> Sweet love. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't get me started now. <laughs> but that's how God is. So we got to, got to, God doesn't want that. God loves you. He really knows what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? He knows we mess up. That's okay. Yes. But we can't have that mindset that we think that God is always judging. He's not always judging you. We, you know what happens? And I say it all the time. We stand on our own way. Because we start judging, believing what people say. Forget about people. People don't put a dollar in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Brothers and sisters do. Amen? Because we have a relationship. And that's God working through what? Because Christ is within you. Christ is within me. Amen? And that's how it works. Because what? We got the Word inside of us. Amen? And we got to forget about that. Amen? So, okay. The answer is to gain a right comprehension of God and what? Spending time where? How do you get to know God? And, and what else? The most important thing. How are you going to know so, how are you going to know God? In the Word. In the Word. What, what, do we, what, do we get, what do we get understanding and knowledge? In the Word. So the more time you spend in the Word, you start getting what? Wisdom. Amen? You start saying, oh, you see? And then not only that, remember, when I was in saved, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm bad in my flesh. Because what? I was walking in my flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen? And I thought I was bad. I thought about the physical part of me saying, yeah, you know. <laughs> and I thought that was it. You know, and money and all that. That ain't nothing, man. Now, I'm a, I'm a child of God, a holy ruler, a, a Christ-like. I was like, yes, son. You know, power, dignity, right? Father, amen, respect, amen. And when I walk into a room, they don't just see Betty, they see Christ in me, amen. And that's, that's more important than anybody but yeah, you know? Come on, amen? God is good, hallelujah. Okay, let's go to John and everybody. I don't even got this. John. in your life. Amen? Remember, you are chosen. You are a royal priesthood. A chosen generation. Amen? And you start looking at yourself that way because God looks at you that way. You see? He don't look at you that way. So if you fall, it's alright. And He wants you to have fun. He wants you to either hit, you know, whatever. You, he wants you to be joyful. You know? Why did He give us these feelings? Why did He make us the way that He made us? Amen? To love one another. Amen? Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Oh, 